What's up everybody, this is Matt from Sensory Fitness. Yes, today's all about fine motor. In fact, the next three videos will be kind of a short, short little short uh, series on fine motor because it's so complicated, there's a lot going on there. Um, so yeah, this will be fine motor without really having to do too much fine motor. And I'll explain why. Fine motor is really complicated. It's not as easy. Um, let's think of a tree. I love this analogy. So the tree is our trunk. The limbs are, are kind of our joints. And as we as the tree branches out, what's at the end of a tree are its leaves. So my leaves are my fingers, right? And that's really important. The leaves are super important because we get both of the sun and feed the tree. If without the leaves, the tree wouldn't survive. Without our fingers, our bodies would find we'd survive, maybe, but it would be harder to do things. But we want to use that tree analogy because if that trunk of the tree is not strong, growing, bigger, growing strong, a strong trunk, growing strong limbs, growing strong branches, and having leaves is going to be difficult. It's less on the priority list. So let's look at fine order a little bit backwards. Let's start with stability, but we're going to kind of, in this, in this series, we're going to kind of work backwards. We're going to go from the hand all the way to the joints and right to our core and talk about that. But let's start with our hand because that's cool. Okay? So, the hand is so important. When I think of fine motor, I think of, I'm going to talk about these three fingers, these guys. This is kind of my power side, my strong grip, grip. This is my, my, my uh, fine motor side. But in order for me to have fine motor, I need the support of these guys. I need a strong hand. And we're gonna kind of look at the hand in this way. There's a big, here's our hand meat here, hand meat here, and hand meat here. We wanna build up those things so we can then have them to be stable for us to do our fine motor. So these are some activities that we can do to help build up our grip. We'll look at grip first. Grip, because that's kind of like a solid foundation of a good strong hand to be able to grip things and hold them. And so if we give our, nice, our hands a nice strong, strong, solid foundation. Okay, so we're talking about grip. These are some activities you can do to help build up your kiddo's grip. It doesn't have to be these. These are some examples. But I'm going for, well, all five fingers to grip something, and I'm looking for that thumb on the other side. And we'll talk about what that can look like if it's not that way in a minute here. But here's some easy ones. All right, so it, great one. You got a rope. It doesn't have to be like this, but a rope. Go ahead and grab it. And all they're doing, I'm having my kid pull something, something weighted. Go ahead and pull it, Reg. Pull it in. Maybe you're sitting on the couch. Oh, oh, oh so strong. Oh, so strong. All right, so we <laughs> It's a cool activity. So, you know, I'm, I'm working on pulling that, that rope in. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's creating that C, that C pattern. And I'm, I'm gripping that rope. Something that simple, right? Another thing is to have a, sticks, clubs, bats are an awesome way to build up grip. This is the RMT club. I love this thing. It doesn't have to be this, but the point is that I'm gripping, right? And I'm just gonna have Reggie, I don't know, maybe have some dots on the ground. Or maybe I have, here, go ahead and grab that, Reg, stand up, stand up, buddy, and Reg, go ahead and smash the ground, smash him, whoop, whoop, oh, that's in the way, whoop, all right, pause, awesome, cool, so you can see how there's a lot of impact there, it doesn't have to be this club, it can be a baseball bat hitting, I don't know, hitting the ground outside, or, 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 or some, something where I'm hitting the tree, I don't want to kill any trees, but it's a great way to develop some some grip strength. Kids walk if you're going for a hike in the woods, allow kids to have their those sticks and hand with the the, the the bushes and stuff like that. It's a great way to build up uh, uh, grip. Okay, another one is when you see kids on the playground. Go ahead, Reg, grab your grab grab that for me, please. Yes, sir. So go ahead and see. This is what I'm this is what I'm looking for. So see how go ahead and hang from the. There we go. So see that C grip. Go ahead and hang, Reg. Anytime I'm hanging from anything, I, I'm holding my own body weight. That's amazing. So a lot of times I'll see kids. Give me here. Give me that opposite one here. Bring it. I see kids do that, and that's okay. That's okay. But I'm not really building my grip. I'm not really building up that web space in there. So what I want to do is I want to cue my kid. I'll 
I've heard monkey thing, monkey hands. I've heard Lego hands is a cool one. Lego's hands. I got those. Go ahead and grab those. Use your Lego hands and swing. So a pretty cool way to build up some grip. Just some other cool ways you can work on some grip. Lackey Kid makes this balance ball. Awesome. But what's cool about it is it's got these... <laughs> I almost called them udders. It's got these legs on the bottom of it. Hey, these are great for grabbing. So, you know, you can do a lot with this. Um, kids can, instead of the club, you can use this. Go ahead, Reggie. Grab that. Stand up. You can give me, like, some, some ball smashes. Maybe I'll change the name. There it is. Boom. Boom. Oh. Trying to take yourself in the face. <laughs> Something like that. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. That's a cool way to work on some grip. Another thing is things that are kind of grippy, like like fabric, if, if they're climbing through lycra, or if I can pick up pillows, or, I, or something heavy like that. Great, great grip activity. Maybe they pick a whole bunch of these up and they huck them, or you're having a pillow fight. Pillow fights, there you go. Pillow fight, grip. Think of that, grip, awesome. Another cool way, resistance bands. You know, there's a thousand ways. Here, here's just some ideas. Resistance bands. Go ahead and grab that, Reg. What is that? That's what it, he, Reggie's showing his toe grips. Gross. Okay. Watching that. Okay. <laughs> Put that to the side. All right. Grab, grab that. If you got a kid on a swing, I'm, I'm not setting up a swing right now, but it, having a kid pull up, oh, using a resistance band is a great way to build up grip. Because not only are you pulling up, but wants to pull back. All right, let go of that. Dangerous. Make sure. David? This is the lackey kid. Uh, <laughs> dangerous. Oh. You let that go. Wah pap. That's something to be aware of. The Lackey Kid Resistance Band. Simple as simple as that. Um, yank and pull and stuff like that. So, when I think of a grip, things obviously where I'm gripping. Climbing, cr uh, crawling, picking things up where I, that, that kind of move. So something like a pillow or like some of those, I don't know, what else they got? Those um, medicine balls that kind of are smushy. Things like that. And um, so that's building all that web space in here. Here. Here and here, all oh, this is my power side. I'm building that grip. So when it's time for me to do my fine motor, I now have a nice solid foundation in my hand. Those those muscles are strong, and they can support these guys to do their fine motor thing. Ooh, let me see your fine motor finger. Another thing I want to look at for fine motor is that pinch. Like you think of that. You think of a pinch. When I like I said, it's these three fingers. I'm looking. To, to manipulate. Now that we have a good solid base, good foundation of a strong hand, now let's start looking at these three guys and strengthening this pinching grip. One cool way to do it is just taking out knots. I mean, <laughs> he's really got to use these fingers to keep them isometrically kind of like this, in this position, like I'll pull and, and twist and Strengthening all these muscles in here. It's a fun way, pretty cool activity. You can make it part of an escape room or a challenge or something like that. Escape, escape room? What is that? At least next time. But go ahead and take, so just taking out knots, something that simple. Another way, did you get them out? No. All right, well, you didn't escape. All right, another way. You know, may I have that, please? No, I'm almost done. Oh, he wants to see. It's so motivating. It's so motivating. All right. So stand up, buddy. All right, so another easy way to work on that pinch is right here. I got a spoon, got an egg, oh, egg and, and I'm working on an egg balance. It's that easy. Please don't make a mess in my gym. Okay, so something like that. Things like that where I'm promoting that pinch. So they're, they're kind of strengthening up in here. Again, I'm strengthening that web space, but I'm kind of focusing on these three fingers just like that. You're doing a great job. And try to use one hand. That's cheating. That's cheating. One hand, buddy. This is real, right? That's real, yeah. Don't drop it. Okay, okay. All right, come on back. Thank you. All right. May I have that? I'll break it. I'll give it to you later. Don't boil it. All right. And then there's things like Lackey Kid makes this really cool uh, marble maze. There's a little tiny marble in there, and you got to kind of put it through these, the maze. Pretty cool. Oh, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm pinching. Working on that pinch. Things like that. There you go. Well, I'm going to move on from that. Nice. All right. Another way, cool way is putty. Putty is different than slime. Putty's a bit more stiff. Go ahead and pull that out. Okay. So I put little tiny trinkets in there. Things like that. Oh, working on that web space. See right there? Look at that. Amazing. Go ahead and pull that putty out, Big Ridge. 
and inside are little tiny little bits and pieces of beads, little dinosaurs. What do you got in there? No, don't use your mouth. Don't use your mouth. There you go. Look at that pinch. So putty, putty is a great way to work on, on work on that pinch and strength again, hand strength, hand strength. That's what we're doing. And it's we're not really doing fine, fine, fine motor activities. We're having fun. We're doing kind of gross motor with our hands. Gross motor with our hands. Cool. Yeah, that's gross. Touching your feet on that thing is gross. So cooking is an awesome way to work on fine motor. It's fun, there's a lot of cool things behind it. So cracking an egg is, 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 is that delicate work, that fine motor, that's awesome. Doing that type of fine motor stuff is great. If your kids enjoy it, do that. I'm kind of looking at, whoop, I'm gonna look at kind of the, the bigger picture. So handing kids a fork, <laughs> we gotta work on that. Like this, buddy, yeah, like this, yeah. So, again, it's that isometric hold of the pinch, okay? So mixing, piece of cake, right? Fantastic. One way to do it, uh, or you get your old school egg beater is another way to do it. Cool, I'm working on those bigger, gross motor pieces. Keep going, keep going. Good shoulder stability, all that cool stuff. Like it, it does, it all the it's exciting. that down and then let's just say this was an egg thanks dude I'm gonna put that there. let's say this was an egg let's say it's chocolate whatever it is. so just it's something as simple as using a wooden spoon again I got that grip all right it's a plastic <laughs> it's a rubber <laughs> egg whatever it is <laughs> it's uh, BPA proof so again there's that pinch okay and he can some kids like to grip it all that with the idea of building up our, our hand strength Okay, great activities to do. Cool? Cool. Do we have some eggs for lunch? Party time. Party time. No, I don't think Fine motor. Fine So I look at these as a bit more gross motorish ways to address fine motorish activities. You know, the things we're doing with the with building our grip, these are the foundational things we need to do before we put something like utensil, a pen or a pencil or a crayon in a kid's hand. And by the way, another great way to do that, to, to work on these three things, if you're, if you do decide to color or draw, is to take that crayon and snap it to a tiny piece. Because then I, I have to use these three guys. I have to use these three fingers. Here you go. I'll color my mat. So it, it promotes that. Just an extra tip. Break the crayon in half. So, yeah. So, again, think of a tree. I am building the, the string, the, these closer branches to the, to the leaves to in order for the leaves to grow in order for these fingers to operate correctly as opposed to me kind of give, putting a pencil in a kid's hand and teaching them the correct way to write or to tie my shoes first I'm going to found, build the foundation of the house right speaking of foundations next week we will look at the rest of the tree heading towards our trunk we'll kind of look at joint stability we'll look at wrist elbow and shoulder because those three joints are the next part way to the, to the center of the tree in order for us to have fine motor. Proximal stability equals distal mobility. Whoa! A strong center equals a movable away, away part. <laughs> cool beans. Fine motor high five. Fine motor high five. Ka-ching. That was weird. <laughs>